stoppage. No, it is not a good stoppage. What kind of shit, Tony? You did it again, Tony. You got to go. You got. You got to go. Oops. Oh. Oh, Tony. Tony Weeks. Tony Weeks just went from a boxing referee to the Cat Williams of boxing. Check this out. He done put everything on blast. Talking about why uh, he stopped the fight with Lawson uh, versus uh, Virgil Ortiz. Virgil Ortiz had Lawson against the ropes. And we all got on Tony Weeks saying that, man, he stopped it early. Check this out. Tony Weeks, he tweeted on X. He said, what the public didn't know that prior to the fight, they did a brain scan on him. Speaking of Lawson. And it came up that he had an aneurysm. And they did a test again, and the same aneurysm came up. <laughs> Another doctor was brought in and gave him the same examination, and he tested negative for the aneurysm. So they cleared him to fight. Cat Williams! <laughs> this man, you know what? Here, here, no, before I, before I give my take, before I give my take, Golden Boy did release a statement. Here's an official statement from Golden Boy. Golden Boy Promotions statement is this. They said on January 7th, 2024, Frederick Lawson was cleared by a Nevada State Athletic Commission sanctioned doctor to fight on Saturday night. All other questions should be referred to the NSAC, the Nevada State Athletic Commission. So they hey, for us, we Far as we know, hey, hey, the glove don't fit. Okay, listen. I have a take on this. What, three years ago, three, four years ago, I did an interview with the real Cat Williams of boxing, Steve Willis. And Steve Willis said, I'm going to play you the clip in a minute, but we were discussing how Referees aren't privy to injuries that may occur in sparring or in training camp. And the injustice is done before they get into the ring. So the ref isn't privy to it. Check this out. We had many deaths in the ring. Um, last year, what, we had four? I mean, that I can count, right? I mean, maybe more than that. Um, but you said something that was extremely interesting one time on your Instagram. You said that referees were unaware of whatever injuries uh, occur during sparring. Many boxers step into the ring, and I immediately thought about Anthony Joshua, right? I immediately thought about, you know, everyone saying that Anthony Joshua was knocked out in sparring or something like that. These fighters could have been injured in sparring. It could have been something before the fight. It, nothing that necessarily happened. If you look at Matt, uh, Max Dadashev, uh, rest in, in peace to, to Dadashev. Nothing really happened in the course of that fight where you say, hey, the ref should have stopped it there. But really, the damage could have happened before the fight. Can you speak on that a little bit as far as? Yeah, I got to be careful with that because um, I went too far with that one. But um, okay. um, no one's ever themselves when the game starts. I Many times I have not myself. Okay? Right. You go in there with things. Um, it might mean little ticky tap, little knick knack injuries. You might have a bad toe. You might, uh, you might have tendonitis in your elbow. Right. You might have tendonitis in your knees. You might have, in some cases, developing arthritis. In some cases, you could have post traumatic from a concussion. You could have a concussion, never even knew you had a concussion. I saw a lot of that in the amateurs. Guys who boxing in tournament format, you're boxing all week. You've had three right. fights doing, doing a, doing three hard fights doing, during the course of the tournament. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta figure the science is proven. After three of those bouts, you're going to a gold medal round or a championship round, and they're banging. You know what I mean? There's, there's eventually you're going to have some kind of fatigue. Some kind of physical fatigue. Steve Willis, the original Cat Williams. Look, 
That was extremely important. And you guys, I, I'm going to put the interview, the entire interview in the description below. You guys got to check that out. We hit some very important points and he gave some great insight uh, to being a referee. And what, you know, spawned that question, of course, uh, were the depths that was, were going on. And, and at that time, Max, uh, Mad Max Dadashev has already passed away, um, succumbing to the injuries uh, in the ring against Matias. And a lot of questions and concerns were towards the referee at the time, which if you look at that fight, there were no indications that he should have been stopped. There was no time in a fight where the fight should have been stopped. And even if you look at Anaguchi, um, who's fighting for his life now, there were no indications. Actually, he had uh, Susumi busted open and they were talking about stopping the fight on that end. And then you have the traumatic situation. And I guess the idea is don't let the referees know because you let the referees know it's going to skew their judgment and have what happened last Saturday where Tony Weeks stopped the fight with this understanding that he already had. This guy had two failed tests, brain scans for aneurysm. He, he just not on his watch. So, now, Tony Weeks quite possibly saved Lawson's life. So now you have to look at this situation and, and kind of look at why Tony Weeks jumped in there with Barroso because he said his age. So that's what's going on here. And Steve Willis was trying to let us know this years ago. Yeah, I got to be careful with that because um, I went too far with that one. Look, if you think of Errol Spence, when Errol Spence was going to fight Manny Pacquiao, he had a partially detached retina. Errol Spence was trying to get a, an, a doctor to clear him, but no one took the responsibility to clear him, right? So he couldn't fight Manny. He really was trying to fight him, but they said, no, we're not going to be responsible for letting things go, and God forbid something happens. But in this case, the Nevada State Athletic Commission Cleared him. A doctor. A doctor. Cleared him. Aneurysm. Let's look at aneurysm. If you guys don't know what an aneurysm is, to see how, um, Jesus, it's, it's, it's imperative that someone does a fight with a brain aneurysm. Hold on. Here it is right here. An aneurysm. A cerebral aneurysm, also known as a brain aneurysm, is a weak or thin spot on an artery in the brain that balloons or bulges out and fills with blood, all right? Um, the bulging aneurysm can put pressure on the nerves of brain or brain tissue. It may also burst or rupture, spilling blood into the surrounding tissue um, called a hemorrhage. And that's where you hear you know, someone succumb to their injuries due to bleeding on the brain and stuff like that. That's what an aneurysm is. You have an aneurysm, it gets hit, especially by a thumper like Virgil Ortiz or anyone. Really, these guys are pro punchers, right? They know how to punch. Um, you in there, you get hit a few times and now you have bleeding on the brain and no one can save you except your team, the ref, the, the the state, the athletic commission, everybody's involved um, should stop things from actually uh, possibly happening before they step into the ring. Thank goodness Tony Weeks was privy to the information and just due to the pressure of everybody, um, he had to release that statement. You know, he's Cat Williams Jr. at this point. Not a good stop. No, it is not a good stop. What kind of shit? Tony, you did it again. Tony, you got to go. You got you to go. Tony Weeks, you're a lifesaver. Let me know how you feel in the comments below. Show biz, but don't. I'm out. Huh.